So first time, I think, first time ever that we have an update on Butter Robot and they cannot show pictures. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. DDL had a webinar again, it's on September 1st, 2022. And I have the highlights over here. Again, this will be posted on the DDL website, but I want to give you my... Um, my comments here on this uh, on this webinar and I'm going to use uh, there you go my friend Cosmo here you're going to be useful you can see on the first picture this is a uh, Todd Woods here in uh, in the top uh, corner um, he seems to be replacing a Matthew Eversall that we've seen for the past more than I don't know two years maybe so uh, Todd here uh, I don't know if he has the same title as uh, Matthew did which is the chief marketing officer, I'm not sure. Uh, but um, looks like uh, Matt does not work anymore with uh, DDL. So anyway, he was uh, running the show and uh, he showed here, and you will see right here, the, um, um, the agenda for this webinar. There was Kavu, Cosmo 2.0 update, Infinite Drive update, Butter Robot update, and Vector 2.0 update. Like I said, I have many inter interesting things to tell you guys. So the Kevu update was interesting because they had a, um, a guy from uh, Dragonfly and his name is uh, Paul Mullen. You see a picture right here. This is Paul. Nice uh, update, I must say, on, uh, on the Dragon, get Dragonfly and Kavu. He gave a brief history of the company, collaboration with DDL. Uh, he talked about AI drone. Um, he showed pictures of a prototype. I have a picture right here to show you. Look at that, guys. A prototype of a flying vector. Not sure how this, <laughs> I'm not sure how this will work. Um, well, I, I do know how a drone works because well, you know my channel, I cover drones also, but they're talking about AI, I'm not sure. Uh, the good news is that Paul said the drone will be around 200 grams. That would put the drone below regulatory requirements in many countries, which is 250 to 50 grams. So 200 grams you can fly without requiring a license in most uh, countries. Did this say they want to reduce the noise also? They want to make the drone uh, quiet so that it can it can hear commands and they're going to design the props so that the noise will be reduced uh, Paul did say it's more than a toy and it can be used also outside not just inside and when Jacob steps in he said a flying Cosmo I, I was surprised by that because he didn't say a flying vector he said a flying Cosmo. I'm just wondering if he made a mistake by, by saying that. Then the Robbie Bussard, or actually this picture here, uh, they tried to show a video, probably a feed from the camera in the prototype drone, but they could not get the resolution right, as you can see here. So they had the issue, so uh, we could not see uh, a video. Then Robbie Bussard stepped in to talk about Cosmo, and uh, th that's him right here and he had here his agenda or updates and the highlights as are as is they're updating the app on ios to match the android version to 3.6.0 they are currently making pre-orders and this was news to me to many of you guys because it looks like they're making cosmo as we speak not only vector as we have been thinking for the past three months so they're making pre-orders uh, Cosmo did pass FCC same as Vector that's his news in US and in Canada um, they're trying they said shipping later this quarter so later this quarter has to be September 2022 which is now so I'm not sure I'm not sure if they meant that or if they meant Q4, which would be between October and December 2022. DDL is covering shipping costs, like they said that before. Um, what, what again here um, annoyed me a little is that Robbie said they are testing the app. Again, testing. We hear about testing all the time. I thought by this 
by this point in time, testing would be completed, but we hear about this testing all the time. I'm a little bit annoyed with this. And then they showed the new website, and I have a picture right here, right there. So Robbie showed the new DDL website. Looks interesting. There is a special uh, menu at the top, if you look here at the top, for educators, which is very good. And I did mention that to Enki many, many years ago. They had to do something more with teachers. And uh, looks like DDL has a special section uh, here, as you can see, for uh, teachers uh, in schools. Then they talked about uh, Roblox. Look at that. And that's the YouTube channel, Cosmo and Friends. And apparently, as of today, there is a new video on Cosmo and Friends YouTube channel. Um, there was a bug here on the my PC was running but I had to be outside the house and I was using my phone but the, the presentation on the phone I don't know if you had the same problem guys it was not updating all the time so from that point from this slide right here I'm missing a couple of slides I'm missing the vector update which I have anyway uh, here in text and I'm missing the video, so but you can go on the Cosmo and Friends YouTube channel and you will see the new video. I must say, it's a cool channel. I'll give it to the guys at Cosmo and Friends. They are doing a, an amazing job. You need to look at that. And then they talked about Infinity Drive, again by Robbie. They're making, as we speak, the Phantom. I think it's a car. I think the Phantom Cars unless I missed something in the previous updates. I think the Phantom is a car. Um, Infinity, Infinity Drive uh, components are going to be uh, made by US companies. They're trying to make it local. Looks like it won't be made in, made in China. Delivery uh, 2D DL in Q4. That's not delivery to you guys. It's delivery to DDL in Q4. And again, if you're new here, the Infinity Drive will have this special charging track where as you race, the car will charge every time it goes above that special track. And, uh, and again, 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 a, a, a little statement by Robbie here that again annoys me. They are... This, they, start, they are starting working on the circuit boards. Okay, so starting working on circuit boards. So I don't think they will deliver. In my opinion, I don't think they will deliver. Uh, this is delivery to DDL, but that doesn't mean to customers. So we're looking here at 2023, uh, obviously. Then Todd, Todd Woods, gave an update on Butter Robot. And I'm missing that slide, unfortunately, uh, but I have it here. Um, again, I'm sorry. I said at the beginning I would give highlights, and one highlight here is the chip shortage. Todd made reference to the chip shortage in the car industry, and that, hit, that has been affecting Butter Robot. I think DDL did mention that about a year ago, but... To have it like again, it's too bad. And because of confidential issues, uh, Jacob stepped in and they said that because of confidential stuff with some suppliers, they could not show pictures. So first time, I think, first time ever that we have an update on Butter Robot and they cannot show pictures. So sorry guys, I don't have, I don't have pictures. Also the big thing is delivery. We never, we never knew about delivery of Butter Robot. Todd did mention delivery in Q4 2023, one year from now. Q4, and I wrote it down. He said 2023. And also he said they're getting closer to a prototype. They do not have a prototype yet. I thought they had one. I showed one about, like, what, six months ago? I thought they had a prototype. I don't know. Maybe it was a pre-prototype. I don't know. Anyway. Then Vector 2.0. That's the second slide I'm missing. And again, I was on my phone and it was Zoom was not updating at this point the slides. I am very annoyed by that. 
Um, so Jacob said, FCC completed, I felt and we thought it was in the U.S. alone, but no, it's also in Canada. So FCC completed in the U.S. and in Canada. They are currently working on safety testing in the U.K. and in Europe. And I think I heard also in Australia, I think. Um, so they're shipping, apparently they're shipping now as we speak to U.S. and Canadian customers. They do know about the heating issues, and I don't know, Guy, if you know about this. If you go to social media and you look for information about Vector, you certainly know about some heating issues in some cases. Uh, DDL was able to reproduce the issue, but they said it was a software fix. So nothing that, was, uh, that needed a change in hardware. It was apparently a software fix and Jacob did make the statement he was very 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 clear because we had many questions about that Jacob made, made the statement that they are shipping in the order that the pre-orders were received now almost two years ago now so if you buy a vector today don't expect to get it in a few weeks maybe not even a couple of months you will get it after the people who pre-ordered before June 2021 and actually starting in November 2020, if I've got the dates right, I'm quite sure. So November 2020 to June 2021 are pre-orders and they're shipping these now as we speak. I'm still puzzled though that we don't see unboxing videos on YouTube or TikTok on Instagram. I'm puzzled if they're shipping as we speak. I don't know. Uh, Jacob did say many, many times that they want feedback from you guys. They want feedback. Uh, they actually appreciated the feedback they got for the new website, but they want also feedback on Vector and Cosmo, what you would like them to do uh, in the future. Finally, Jacob did confirm that all vectors will go to firmware 2.0. A lot of people are not happy about that. Some people are afraid that their vector 1.0, which is currently on their firmware 1.8 or 1.7 or 1.6, if you never upgraded, they're afraid that with 2.0, the old vectors may not work correctly. I mean, I share that, that concern, but let's hope that, um, that they will work correctly. So guys, this is the update. Um, many things that I said here were uh, said uh, verbally. So you, you would have to watch the whole webinar, which was almost an hour and a half, to get all the details I just, I just gave. So, but you don't have to now that you watch my video. And you got this summary in about, uh, what, about uh, seven minutes. So thank you for watching. And guys, as always, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to repeat what I said a few seconds ago. I am still puzzled that we do not see unboxing videos on social media. Uh, if they're shipping as we speak, uh, to ship from the U.S. to a U.S. destination takes three days. So I don't know why we're not seeing unboxing videos. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Goodbye, guys.